Ondo State Security Outfit, codenamed Amatekun, has explained reasons for the eviction of 42 Fulani men who invaded Okitipuka Council area of the state last week Thursday. The illegal visitors were brought in a truck and dumped in front of the Okitipupa Army Barracks at about 10 p.m. Their presence in the community heightened anxiety as residents raised alarm and reported the incident to Amoteko. During interrogation by the personnel of the Amoteko, the illegal visitors said they were in the state for security training. Addressing newsmen in Akure over the weekend, on the arrest of the invaders, the state commander of Amotekun chief Adetunji Adeleye said the 42 men were arrested following their inability to explain their mission in the state. Adeleye said, right now, we look at them as security risk to the state. According to him, the suspected invaders who hailed from Kano and Jigawa states claimed that they were invited to the state by an agent who will engage them as security guards to monitor and guide the pipelines. In the last three days, there have been issues relating to the invasion of the state by alleged Fulani men. Our intelligence showed us the influx of some people, especially to Okitipupa local government area of the state. So we monitored and found out that they converged in front of the army barracks in Okitipupa. They were there for a couple of hours, and at that point, we tried to find out what their mission is. But because they couldn't give satisfactory explanations, we moved them to a local office. First, in Okitipupa, to try to debrief them, and from the debriefing at Okitipupa, we had to move them to the state headquarters for proper debriefing. When they arrived, we profiled them, and we found out that they are primarily from two major states, Kano and Chikawa states. The mission that they claimed they came for is not too clear, and upon profiling, we found out that majority of them don't even know how they got to where they got to. All they were told was that they were going for training. Training for who, by who, or for or whatsoever, they do not know. The sponsors happened to have claimed that they belonged to an NGO that they contracted out the training to a consultant who was supposed to train their men. They said they were going to train them as security guards. But as part of our discreet investigation, we found out that the so-called consultant had been arrested in Delta State and I confirmed from the Delta State Police Command as of today that he's still in their custody. So, we intend to release them. We will release all these ones and ensure that they are taken back to their states. He explained that they decided to release them because right now, we look at them as security risk to the states. And at this point, we invited the sponsors, the head of the non-governmental organization, the NGO and chairman of the board have also offered explanation. But, we feel that we should let the people of Ondo states know that there is no crisis in Okutipupa local government area. The way it was portrayed as if some hoodlums or militants had taken over is not true. We want to reassure the good people of Ondo states that we are firmly on ground in conjunction with other security agencies that there is no problem. People should go about their businesses normally. We are not leaving anything untouched. And we have ensured that our intelligence unit had covered the entire state. And we would alert the public on any wrong move. We intend to provide 
re-escort to lead them out of Ondo State back to wherever they came from. Meanwhile, the state government has urged the people of the state not to take laws into their hands and should he not hesitate to report any strange movements in their community. The State Commissioner of Information and Orientation, Donald Ojogu, commended the Amoteku calls for handling the situation maturely and professionally. He said the security situation we found ourselves in in the last 72 hours was a very precarious one. If not that, it was discreetly and unprofessionally handled and well managed by officials of the government, particularly Amoteku commanders and the SSA on security, the situation would have degenerated to the extent of lynching and jungle justice. It was almost getting to that point when they were seen in a suspicious manner in Okitupupa, but the governor had to rise up to the occasion to ensure that they were given adequate protection so that jungle justice had to be avoided. That was one of the key points that was achieved in the last 72 hours. It was a very frightening situation. Ordinarily, looking at the insecurity situation in the country, some of these persons would have been molested, if not killed. But that is not what we want. Whatever is worth doing must be well done, and we ensured as a government that they were well protected and taken care of until they were moved out of that danger zone to Akure. What government is trying to do today is to ensure that the way they came to the state, they will leave the state safely, peacefully, and unhurt, so that when they get to their various states, they will also testify to their state government and their people that the movement that brought them to own those state was an unclear one, and the state government had to protect them and move them back to their states. But from this moment, people should not take laws into their hands, even when movements that are suspicious are identified. Residents of the state must ensure that the relevant authorities are alerted, particularly Amoteko. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, it is what it is. That is just what it is. You've heard the situation of things. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts? Drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.